Today, we are trying something completely different. What if the poorest team in the English divisions, Barrow, who only have 1.1 million in their budget, would have the three best scouts in world football? I like it a lot. How long would it take for those scouts to fill that team with enough amazing talents for it to go ahead and win the Champions League trophy? That's the big rebuild we're doing today, and I hope you are excited for it. So... I know this is going to be hours upon hours upon hours of work, but I hope you will enjoy it. And here are the three musketeers. It's Cameron Williams, Isaac Besnard, and Diego Alvarez. We have three five-star, five-star scouts. And now the journey begins. I'm going to spread out the scout reports throughout the month because if you put them all on the same day, from my experience, your scout reports are trash. So let's see who's going to be the first big talent I can show you. I'm putting my money on the French guy. Sans, 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 sans. First couple of scat reports are in and the talents have been dumbed down to a few that you guys can see right now. Portugal is coming in with Duarte Brito. He is worth 475k. I'm not impressed. I want to get the best of the best. Otherwise, they don't make it in, right? At least 1 million in value. That's what I'm kind of hoping for. Now, the Frenchman has come in with three in uh in the in his scat report so we have isaac pelletier who's all right then we have joseph billard who is 775k but we have just found our goalkeeper now ideally i want to get players over a million yes but a goalkeeper is so important for any team on career mode i have to get this guy robin leger is coming into the team now the question is has he been topped by cameron williams has he found someone better yes so I was wrong. The Frenchman got a good goalkeeper, but this one got an even better goalkeeper. So now we have a first team goalkeeper and a backup, both decent talents. This one is seeming to be way higher rated. So Matthias Schwabe, take over that goal. Well, the Frenchman has come in with a big one now. Joshua Blanchard coming into the squad. He's a center forward with good pace, decent passing, good dribbling. I think he's better suited for the center attack in midfield position. So that is going to be his position for us. A five-star, five-star talent. And we have found ourselves a left back who's going to take over for now. At least that's my plan. Blanchard and Valentin, both from France. He might not have been the first one to find big talents, but he surely did find some good ones. We now have three French players coming in through the Youth Academy. And now, immediately, if we take a look at this team right here, Rudy coming out. We will be putting in Blanchard there. He goes up to a 63. And then Valentin, obviously 58 rated, is not great. But at least he's a talent from the academy. And that's all I'm going to do this whole time. We are going to replace anyone and everyone with youth academy talents. The next batch of talents has arrived. Yanis Timmerman, worth over 2 million. Signed for our club now. 66 rated. This is a big one for our team. His stats... The pace, the shooting, the passing, the dribbling. I'll keep him on the wings. Let's improve that skill move. And uh, he'll be a five-star, five-star player anytime soon. Promoted immediately. Then we found another goalkeeper, um, which I don't know. I'll just keep a bunch of them as backups and see whichever does best and then let go of one in the future. But now we also have a left back who's higher rated than the last one. And I can't promote him. He's 15, which sucks. But... He could come into our team next season. He is still two ratings above who we have right now, who was another Youth Academy talent. Then we also have Rogers coming in here. Actually, hold on. Oh, no, this guy's a... Uh, he's 15. I thought maybe I'd turn him into centre-back, but hey, it's fine. Now, Rogers right here, looks to be a fullback, and uh, he could go into our team as well, but again, he's 15. Oh, God, why am I wasting my time with these people? Ages. Let's just put in... Zimmerman into this team immediately. Here he is. Bang. Straight into the, into the club. Plays alongside the center attacking mid. And he's going to be a left wing. I'm happy. There are three players from the Youth Academy in this starting lineup already. Zimmerman, Blanchard, and then Schwabe. Actually, four. Valentin on the left back position as well. The scout reports for this season are done. The final players coming in. Bennett from England. He was worth over a million as well. So I'm very excited to bring this man in. He seems to be a center attacking midfielder as well. Ideally, I would like to have him down the wings because we already have a center attacking mid. So let me see. 
Right mid, two weeks. Let's go. That's the one for me. Right midfield would be the ideal position in my eyes. Alfie Bennett is going to be coming into our team straight away. Promoted to the senior squad. Keller is not ready yet, but I have found myself a center mid in the name of Elliot Andrio, who is looking very good in his stats here as well. I want to see, is he better at CDM? No. Center back? No, he's not a great defender. 40 defending. I should have seen that. He looks like he could be a left mid. I mean, he does have the weak foot. He does look decent in general. Maybe I put him in there or do I keep him at center mid? I kind of do need some center midfielders as well. So I'm not fully against this. He could play down the wings as well. Maybe he's a good left mid, you know. He seems to be too good offensively to be able like to be put down into that position. But a center midfielder with really well-rounded stats except defending... I'm okay with that, I think. I think I'm pretty okay with that. I want more skill moves. So let's bring him into the squad as well. So he gets promoted. And with that, as we push towards the end of the season, you will see a bunch of our players having grown. Simaman with the plus one as well. But the sentiment comes in, takes over right there. Bang, sentiment. And then our winger or Bennett is going to go straight into that right midfield position. And I will be a very happy man having added two more talents to the starting lineup. So the season is done, May 2022. And Barrow is already potentially, not potentially, we are going up. We secured the last position for direct promotion. No more League 2 for this team. We go into League 1. Now, who has done it? Who has been the man that has carried this team forward? It was Gordon. Josh Gordon, thank you for your service. Can't wait to replace you, mate. Williams as well with the 15 and 6. Rooney coming in with the 12 and 8. Congratulations. Not the Wayne that we know. But Zimmerman with 7 games and 7 goals and 1 assist. That is beautiful to see. Other than that, our centre attacking mid only got 17 games in with 2 and 2. So in terms of appearances, you can clearly tell the youngsters have not been pushed into the starting lineup the proper way we would like to see it. But... As we let go of a bunch of these other players, these youngsters will do better and better. But now we go into League One and it's not going to be easy to find talents that fit into a League One team. In this new season, I've sent out the scouts to Germany to look for a defensive minded player, to Argentina for an attacker and to Netherlands for physically strong. I don't know if these work in these countries. I'm fully aware that there are certain countries where you send certain scouts to with certain instructions that does best but I don't have them on my mind right now. So let's start off with the Netherlands. Do we have anything special in here? Doesn't look like it. That's a shame. Who's going to be the first one to perform this time around? Come on then, lads. Oh, yes. 650k. I thought that would have been more. Okay. Nothing special there. 600k. Come on now. Someone has to step it up. There we go. Paco Guerrero. What? Gone too? Oh, no. We missed out on that one. Oh, mate. I literally, that's my first scout report. Are you kidding? Uh, that's going to happen sometimes too. And it's going to be very annoying. So this time around, nothing came in yet. It is about goddamn time to put these players into the team now. It's not going to be Keller, but we found a new one. It is Melvin Bohr coming in with some really good stats right here. Could be an exciting player for us. Who's a left back who I think I might be better off turning into a center back. I'm still looking for a center back. Haven't found one. This guy has great physical stats. So we're going to go with that one and turn him into a center back very, very soon. But he and Rogers, who have been here for quite some time, are going to go straight into one of into our lineups, I should say. So let's put them in. Rogers takes over the right back spot. Very happy with that. Bohr in center back will be 62 rated as well. Going to take out the captain. He's going to step up as a left center back. Left footed. That looks good to me. For 1.9 million, we are signing Oscar Keller. This man is a CDM. 17 years old. Perfect for our team. Takes over the position of white. He will be the main man in that spot. Both left footed, actually. Both of our uh, CDM slash center mids here. That is great to see. But now, as you take a look into the team, you have Zanzala up top. And then after that, the entire midfield is Youth Academy. The defense is slowly building up to be Youth Academy as well. Grayson needs to be replaced. Just one more player. And we already have a full Youth Academy team ready to go. But we still... Haven't found anyone like ridiculously expensive yet. I am still looking for that two, three, four million uh, talent, but it hasn't come yet. At least what we know is 
That left back that I have, Boer, should be able to change into a center back now. Bang. See, still 63 rated, but it works for our team. Well, we might have just found a big one. Matthias Schulte is coming into the team. 58 to 78, 2 million in value. Now we are seeming to be stepping up and he could be a center back. At least I'm hoping so. So let's dive into his stats real quick and see. He's a left back once again, 63 rated. I want you to be a center back, mate. Good defending, not the best physical, decent pace, but not good enough for a full back either. So center back, that is the next one. Right footed so he can jump straight into that right center back position for us. And then we have it all set up with all youth academy players and we can roll through the divisions and hopefully do very well. And as we do so, keep on adding to the team and hopefully find some bigger talents. There is still room to find players that can take over immediately in this squad, in some of these positions. And of course, we also need the striker. Oh, I keep forgetting about this. We still need to replace the striker. The scout that's delivering defenders is doing a great job, while the rest is not necessarily doing too well right now. We're not getting any players above the 60 rating except for defenders. Now again, we have found ourselves a new left back once more, 64 rated at this stage, which is the same rating as our center backs. I want to see. Okay, he would be a 66 rated center back. That changes things. He goes straight into the starting lineup, into that left, uh, into that right center back position, actually, and takes over. That's how it goes sometimes, pals. I'm sorry, but I don't make the rules. You get replaced as soon as someone better comes in. Also, we brought in a backup player here in the name of Bossman. That's a great name. Well, friends, here it goes. Second season now done. Let's see how the Youth Academy lads have done for us. We got 12th in League One. That is totally fine considering that we are obviously not ready for the championship at all. And we are far away very far away from being champions in League One. There's a lot of work to still be done, but looking at the team right now, there's still only one position that needs changing, and that is that striker position. We're going to have a heavy focus on that in the next season to find some amazing players for that spot. Now, we have a couple of players above the 70 already. The center attacking mid, Blanchard, and also Timmerman are doing a great job in the team so far. Having said that, though, the rest of the squad ain't bad either. I mean, I'm pretty happy with everyone right here. And on top of it, as we change the position of this young man in that center back position, that should help us out. Bang, 67 rated. So that improves our defense even more. And that should help us out even more in the next season. I reckon next year, this team is going to be competing within like the top six. But for that to happen, I still need a massive striker talent. And I'm going to be going hard for it. <coughs> Slut. I'm going to scout three different countries for an attacking player and try to find that main man for us that can score all of them goals. Right now, we have to rely on Zimmerman. He has gotten 25 goal contributions this season, which is great. And Zanzala, thank you for your contributions as well. But I want to get rid of you as fast as possible. So let me show you one thing. I've sent my scouts over to England, Italy and Portugal for this new season to find me the striker, the man that's going to score them goals. And of course, the Frenchman came up with the goods again. Now, he has found an Italian attacking player. He's worth 1.2 million. But I don't know if that's going to be a striker. Can we convert him into a striker? He is coming in as a center forward, 15 years old, 64 rated. Now, I've been working on Iago Soria, who has been in the Youth Academy for quite some time now, and I've turned him into a striker and he went up to a 65. So I know this kid is ready for that position. Once he's 16, he goes straight into our lineup, but we also have Marini now. So decision will be in between these guys marini doesn't have the best shooting it really does not so i'm not really hopeful about him in that position i can tell you that much i guess this guy could be a center attacking midfield backup so at the end of the day we are still looking the moment you and i have been waiting for has finally come around guys this man is not worth one million this man is not worth two he's not worth three he's worth 3.5. Yes. Carter Marriott. Five foot seven tall. 
could be a left mid, could be a left wing, or a striker. I don't care what he is, he's a striker, okay? So that's what's going to happen. And on top of it, we had another one here, Javier Bust or Bastos, coming in with around 950k as well. Going to sign that kid, but I'm very happy about the fact that we might have just found our guy. He's a left wing, isn't he? Okay, so Marini right here. I'm going to turn into a cam. Yep, goes up by plus two. So that's good to see. Can't wait for these guys to turn 16. But Marriott is coming in with the 67 rating. That is insane. He becomes a striker straight away. I don't care what anyone says. His shooting is good enough. He goes straight, straight into the starting lineup. And now... We can go crazy. Now we have a full team of Youth Academy and we can fill up the rest with a couple more Youth Academy backups and just take over England. Come on, England! <laughs> After changing his position, Marriott just became an even more important player to our team. So now that we have found our entire starting 11, let's go through it one more just so you guys can get attached to these players. Marriott coming in at Stranka. Blanchard coming in from France in that center attack midfield spot. Zimmermann from Germany on the left wing, our highest rated player, highest potential player at the moment as well. Andrio now slowly starting to play regularly. 19 years old, six foot one tall from France. His position was occupied by one of the originals who we got rid of. Keller took over the CDM spot once again from Germany. Then Bennett on the right hand side from England. Rogers coming in to take over the spot behind him. Then Kruger, the centre-back from Germany. Bohr coming in from Netherlands, I believe, yes. And then Valentin with a 69 rating from France. And Schwabe, of course, from Germany. We love to see these top countries do so well right here for our team. Obviously, I tried different ones as well, like the uh, Argentina and all those ones. And I will keep on trying to find that one big talent that could possibly upgrade this team still. So don't you worry, if I find anything massive, You'll know. Yeah, that didn't take long. Literally, I just sat down, took my controller, and I was leaning back. And then I stood back up because <laughs> Ed Horton is coming in and he's worth 3.7 million. So he is better. <laughs> Let me see this kid. I was just going through the next scat reports, literally. So we have another insane player coming through, Ed Horton. 69 rated <laughs> oh wow okay hold on a second we might have an issue in that camp spot we have too many players now that can play there what do we do now so let's take a look at it horton 69 70 Ooh, yes we have some options now for the team i love that so he takes over torres position on a bench nice stuff i can tell you one thing lads the youth academy is coming along nicely we have a bunch of players that are just ready set and just want to go into that starting lineup or even onto the bench and i will do so a bunch of these guys are going to get promoted as soon as they are 16 and above they get promoted if i have enough time if i don't want to make this video a 10 hour recording I can't really loan these guys out, but maybe I'll do. Let's see. The season is over. And lads, this is what to expect from the best youth academy in England. Barrow, the poorest team in the English divisions, at least for my uh, little research that I did at the beginning of this. <laughs> and we have them at the top now with 104 points. What do you want, man? Let me see if that man that we brought in up top, Marriott, is the main man with the goals. No, it's Zimmerman, 22 and 4, and Zanzala. Yep, that was to be expected. He played the first half of the season, so it's okay. 18 and 2. Andrio with the 15 and 6. That's clearly an incredible season for him. Blanchard coming in with the 13 and 12. Bennett, 11 and 6. Marriott, ooh, only four goals in 30 games. That is a bit worrisome, but he is 72 rated. So we're going to give him the benefit of the doubt and hope he does even better next season. But statistically, guys, look at this. Like the growth in this team has been incredible. Everyone has passed the 70 and 
Zimmerman is breaking new barriers. 81 rated, opening up the road for the rest of the team to come through. And the bench is not looking bad either. 2025, this season is ending. And you can see there are playoffs. We are trying to go up a division. And that, my friends, would be the Premier League. Oh boy, here it is. Crystal Palace. That is an ex-Premier League side we're up against here. And I don't know if we can pull this off. Let's take a look at the team first. Marriott, Blanchard, Zimmerman looking insane. The defense is looking good. The goalkeeper has gone up nicely. Porting up to a 77. Even, even the bench is very solid right now. I want to see a really good season for Marriott though. Yes, 21 and 3. Nice. Zimmerman continues to perform as he has before. Andrio again, great season. Blanchard with a 15 and 13. I am very happy with the performances of our players, but this is where it comes down to the real important things. Can they win it against the likes of Mateta, Roussillon playing CDM? Give me, give me the promotion right now. Give it to me right now. No. Oh man, we failed. Are you kidding? We are going to be in the championship for one more season, but you know what? It might actually be a good thing. Don't tell it at anyone, but I think this is a good thing because I need these guys to be higher rated. In the Prem, with these ratings, would that be enough? I think we'd go straight back down. So next season, when everyone is above 80, that's a good time. Well, seems like we were in the FA Cup final. Lost it against Liverpool, which is insane, but we made it that far. Barrow this season, clear winners. We are going into the Premier League with 99 goals scored, 100 points, 46 conceded. Lads, now the team is ready. I told you everyone would be above 80 and exactly that has happened. Board was worrying me for a little bit, but he did make it happen. And Zimmerman has broken new threshold once again. He is up above 90 and just looking insane in general. So... Let's see. Has he gotten the best season once again? I fully expect it. No. Our center attacking midfielder did. With Zimmerman behind him. Marriott with a good season. Bennett, incredible season on the right midfield position. And this time, Andrea was chilling. That's okay. We are now a Premier League team. Well, me friends, we are now on the next day. And I'm sat down because I just came back from the gym. And I'm tired, all right? Let me be. Now, we are in 2027. The first season in the Premier League. And it seems to be a good one. I'm seeing dubs all around. So let's see how the team has done. Barrow is second. This is an insane season that we have gone through in the Premier League right now with 71 goals scored, 38 conceded, 81 points on our team, seven losses throughout the entire first Premier League season for this squad. And look at my kids. These are all my kids, all right? I just decided. We have... Marriott on an 89, Blanchard on an 87, Zimmerman 94, Andrio 85, Kella was injured, so he has gotten stuck in his uh, growth a little bit, it should be fine hopefully, Bennett looking solid, Rogers with the 85, the entire defense is going up, Ward I think went from 80 to 83 if I'm not mistaken, so that's good, our goalkeeper is on fire, and the bench is not too bad either, I mean there's nothing to complain about right now, we have put together an amazing team of youth academy talents for the poorest squad in England, and they are currently performing, and... Marriott is leading the line. He might have a haircut from the 70s, but it's all good. Zimmerman with the 16 and 10. Blanchard with the 13 and 7. Andrew again, solid season. Bennett with 20 goal contributions. This has been a very good year. For this being our first Prem season, this is insane. Now, I want to see more people get towards that 90 and pass the 90 in the next season and people like Kella and all these other guys like Boer to catch up with the others as fast as possible. Otherwise, the Champions League trophy is going to be too far away. But we are qualified for the Champions League for the first time and I'm, an ex I'm excited about that as Liverpool as the top scorer in Ansu Fati. Wow, what a transfer. First game against PSG, we beat them. Second game, we lost. Ooh, I don't know. I think the first game was a 1-0 victory. Are we through? No! PSG kicked us out of the Champions League. I'm coming back for you, PSG. It will happen. So our team is not going to be taking part in the Champions League final in 2028, which I think 
is justified because our defense is not that high rated and the CDM position is worrying me a little bit. Hopefully our players have gone up in their stats though. So let's see. We come in second, same amount of points as the champions. 10 goals less on the goal difference. That makes a big difference, obviously. And then in the squad, we can see 90s everywhere in the attack. 93, 91, 96 on Zimmerman. And then we have a 91 on Bennett. Kella, only 83. We're basically just waiting for him to go up in his stats. Andrio up to an 87. Love that. Valentin, 91. Incredible. Rogers, Kruger, Bohr. Everyone is looking great. It's genuinely just at a CDM position. But then again, he has amazing stats. Like he really, really does have some great stats. And he looks like he could be an even higher rated right back, which I just realized now. But um, we have great players on a bench who are capable of jumping in and doing things for us. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a bunch of them on the list here doing well. Marriott 24 and 2, Blanchard 22 and 10, Zimmerman 12 and 10, Bennett 8 and 8, Andrew 6 and 9, and then some players off the bench. Horton 2 and 1. Uh, you know what? It's not that much actually. That's a bit low, but can't complain, guys. We are establishing ourselves at the top of the Premier League. And I wouldn't be surprised if next season we get that league title and we get to play Champions League football. I'm going to say we're going to do it. Do I think we're going to do it? I think we're going to do it. Give me PSG. Give me PSG. Come on now. 2029 Gladbach in the round of 16. Get out of here, man. That should be an easy one. We should be smacking them across their heads. Wow. Okay, well, guys, it looks like it was a tough one. We are through, though. Quarterfinals. Who are we up against? It's going to be Atletico Madrid. Oh, wow. Ooh, Bayern Munich in the semifinal. PSG in the final, please. Please, Bayern Munich. 2 no win. PSG, give me PSG. No, it's Barcelona. Where did you fail, PSG? I wanted my revenge. You were scared, right? You ran away. I see you. I see you, Messi, Neymar, and Mbappe. You're too scared of Barrow. Actually, Messi might have retired by now. It's 2029. So let me see. Where did PSG fail? Real quick. Where do we have them? They made it as far as... Ooh, only round of 16. Got beaten 5-2 by Real Madrid. But they did that on purpose. They were scared. Trust me. Um, let me see how the team performed in the league before we take a look into the ratings. We are first 77 points. That is a very low amount to win the, the title. But hey, I'll take it, guys. That is beautiful to see. And the team. Oh, yes, the team. Keller with the 86. That's all it took, wasn't it? Andrew and Keller are both left-footed, by the way. I did not realize that. Marriott, I can't wait to use this team. Marriott with the 94. Blanchard with the 93. Zimmerman, 97. Bennett on the right with the 92. Rogers 89. Kluger, 88. Boer with the 89. Valentin, still 91. I think that's the same rating as last season. Schwabe up to a 91 as well. And the bench, do we have any options of like pacey players? I mean, Horton could have an impact on a game if I need him to. So that's not too bad. And some defensive options seem to be okay as well. So guys, this is going to be it. We are going to be stepping up against the likes of Barcelona. And before we do so... Yes, Marriott, 40 goal contributions in the 52. Anything outstanding I see here? I guess Andrio with the 19, that's great to see as well. But it seems like Marriott and Zimmerman have really carried this team for years upon years. And the rest of the team is like, yeah, you guys do your thing. We'll follow you. Barcelona coming up right now against our youngsters. The Youth Academy is stepping the F up right now. And it is time to see who's going to be the star. Who's going to be the best striker? Who's going to be the best defender for this team? Who's going to have the biggest impact on the squad's performance? I'm going to go with Zimmerman. He's the highest rated player in our team. And we're going to try and have some fun with him as well. I don't know what the hell he's doing there, but it's okay. We're going to bring that back one step. We're going to find the man in the center. That's Marriott. Marriott, nice turn. Nice three-point turn. And an even better finish. Mate. So beautiful. I'm about to cry. What the hell? Let's take a look at that again. The three point turn. Look at that. Bang, bang, bang. And then, whoppa! Don't be giving me that space outside the box, man. When I have a 90 plus rated player, he might have a 70s haircut, but he will smash it in top ins. Now, Barcelona is no joke, though. They have Camavinga in there, which is a quite interesting signing considering it's a Real Madrid player. By the way, what do you guys think is going to be happening with that Real Madrid midfield? Obviously, Casemiro, Kroos, and Modric. 
have been the main man there for multiple years for multiple trophies. But now that uh, Real Madrid have signed two of some of the talented, uh, most talented players in world football for their midfield, Chuameni replacing Casemiro, Kamavinga probably replacing Modric, and now they are interested in bringing in Jude Bellingham in the next summer. That would be their midfield set for another 10 years. I really hope Real Madrid does not pull that off. It would be a shame to see all these incredible talents not go to Liverpool. <laughs> Come on now, Marriott, make that run for me. Make that run. You're only up against Masraoui. Easy. No, no, not easy at all. That was a wrong assumption from me. What the hell are they doing? What the hell are you guys doing? Barcelona is confused. Oh, here they come. Barcelona with Frankie de Jong. Frankie de Jong somehow getting past me there, which is ridiculous. But that is quality defending from our defense. That's what I want to see from our youth academy players. Kruger with a beast of a tackle. Uh, then we go down the right. Bennett, let's see what you can do. Nice, Bennett. Nice moves. I like it. Back into the center. Bennett making a great run. Down the right-hand side. Lob it up. What? Why, why am I lobbing it up? Why am I lobbing it up? Someone explain. Someone explain what the hell I am trying to do there. Please. I need help. I need <laughs> medical attention. Oh, no. I tried to do a bad tackle there. I just wanted to take him out. Camavinga, Barcelona, offside, surely. What? That was not offside. What a save. Schwabe, you are a hero, mate. He might have number 22 on his back, but he's my number one. Oh, well, seems like Barca might have the last attack of the first half with the likes of Richarlison. What the hell just happened? I hate... Oh, mate. No. You did not just do that celebration. Okay. Well, now I'm pissed off. Now I'm pissed off. First of all, I switched players for like eight times in that position. And a slight tackle just goes not to the ball. Makes no sense. At least give me a free kick or something. That's silly, man. Ah, oh, right before halftime as well. That now pissed me off. That celebration, I hate it more than anything. Easy, that's mine. That's mine, yes. Nice little chest down. Straight into Blanchard. Blanchard. Uh, but mate, are you going to give me the space? Are you not attacking me? All right. Well, I'm just going to take the shot then. What the hell kind of AI is this? Why are they not attacking me? Oh, give me that. Oof, that was a bit harsh, wasn't it? <laughs> I could have broken the guy's leg right there. But Barcelona somehow make it out of that position. GG's. Kamavinga. No, that's not it, Johnny. Stop slide tackling like an idiot or do it when you're about to concede and just take on the red card. This might be the first time that we have gotten a red card in a Champions League final in at least months. I cannot remember the last time this has happened. We are in a very awkward position right now. We are down to 10 men up against Barcelona. I'm going to put Keller into the centre-back position. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to drop Blanchard into the centre midfield spot. It is a terrible spot for him, though. Let's be completely honest. But I'd rather have it set up that way than any other way. We're just going to lose out on the camp. So we're going to have to play down the wings to get to get our attacks going. Richarlison. Oh, my game just froze. What the hell? Nope, you're not going to score that. On to the right. The right-hand side just seems more efficient than any other for us. Even though I want Zimmerman to take part in these attacks as much as possible. Zimmerman, nice little move. Down the left goes Valentin. I feel like he hasn't touched the ball once. Now he sees the run of Zimmerman. Zimmerman cuts inside. Smacks it past the keeper. Yes. We might have one man less. But I told you. We're going to take one out the midfield and just play it down the wings. It worked out. Zimmerman is the hero we needed. The Youth Academy of Barrow is showcasing. You don't need transfers. You just build up talents. Yes. Come on. Uh, Barcelona now throwing everything forward for sure. This is going to cause us some trouble. Oh my God. I thought it was actually their player that's going to get that ball. Valentin again. This guy was quiet the entire game. And now all of a sudden, he's my hero. Zimmerman making that run down the left. Zimmerman is going. He's going after it. Zimmerman, nice little skill move to get past one. To get past two. <gasps> Why not? Why not, Zimmerman? Why am I saying his name in like English? Zimmerman. That's how you say his name. I'm German. Why am I saying his name like in an English accent? Anyways, we move. 90th minute. Ref, blow the whistle, please. That could have been an amazing moment to finish things off. But hey, at least we saw what Zimmerman is capable of. 
at the end of this game. He stepped up when we needed him. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, he's offside. Oh, mate. We get so lucky. Red card in Barrow wins the Champions League trophy. The captain, Andriu, he has led this team for long enough to get this trophy and lift it up. Guys, it has been a joy to take the poorest team of England and supply them with three incredible scouts that have put together this beautiful team. The Youth Academy route is always the most enjoyable, but my God, that makes the rebuild process so much longer. So I hope you guys, if you did enjoy the video, smash that like button and leave some ideas in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Take care and peace.